What's your minimum specification? JS, favorite piece of company expo swag. Hmm. Um, mug, um, t-shirts are good. I mean, uh, you'll notice that in some videos I'm wearing various t-shirts um, that I get from events. Mm. Um, getting multi-region plug sockets, especially as a traveler, um, is good. I have way too many battery packs. Um, and there's only one good one that I've had from um, A Data, which is a battery pack and an LED light. So it helps for photos as well. Um, I mean, my discussion about swag, and I know Steve from Gamers Nexus has has his opinion on this, and various other people in the industry do. Um, it's perhaps yeah another topic for a long video on you know, where, what is swag? What does it mean to a journalist? Um, you know, should you trust a journalist who accepts swag? Um, then there's the other thing of you know, well, if you decline it, are you causing an issue with certain companies and? how it reflects on the PR team and it, is it just the PR team doing their job to what they've been told by the senior executives and yeah, you know, but um, my main go-to bag hold all is a Radeon uh, backpack that I got during a Polaris briefing in Macau. Um, that was trip on the way to Computex um, and I've had that bag for four years. It's even been stolen and recovered once. Um, I've taken that to Intel briefings. <laughs> I've taken that to ARM briefings. Um, I've seen Charlie from Semi Accurate wear an Intel T-shirt to AMD briefings, and he likes to wear. Um, he, he 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 likes to poke the bear on that one. You know, fun stuff. Um, yeah, the bigger context of swag, I think, is is perhaps a good topic for a separate video, and it might be worth you know perhaps collaborating with a few people to do um, that. What's the coolest CPU re you've reviewed, Lord Sauron? Um, Cannon Lake. Cannon Lake was really fun. Um, I've still got the Shaoxin somewhere. I still haven't written that review. Um, sorry. Uh, yeah, Cannon Lake, Shaoxin. <laughs> I've got a couple of things that are AMD related, but not Zen 3 related that I can't talk about yet. Um, because if I do talk about it, I know somebody else will talk about it and get me, get to the review sooner than I will. Um, Overclock 3990X was was fun um you know and ha having these sort of weird cpus trying to find them um like i say this is carrizo desktop one of three that were made try trying to find the cpus that were only sold in china for example like the um i want to say the fx 6330 which i have um i still believe it's in the box that i, that I got it in um yeah i think i'm gonna say cannon lake um I mean, um, so Can Lake was fun. What Intel did with Ice Lake and Tiger Lake with the um, performance previews, I actually really like those. I know some people don't like them because it's not a full proper view of the chip as it would be in a product, but it helps us look at the microarchitecture and stuff like that. Um, uh, I guess also getting first gen Zen in was fun. Um, the uh, W3175X, now, loud. Uh, uh, <clears throat> actually, so you see this box here. Um, this box here. This still holds the Intel's auction only 14 core Core i9 9990XE um, that runs all cores at 5 gigahertz. <laughs> That's nice and loud. Um, can't run that at night, and you can't run it during the day at home. Um, I do not have access to a server rack, so it stays in the box for now. Uh, what's your favorite ISA and why is it Itanium? 